Dead Rising panel. We were uh, about hello, to discuss everybody. the last of the weapons we wanted to discuss and then move on to the survivors. Yeah. Alright, first off, I, I forgot one more weapon, uh, the shopping cart. That is kind of useful, it just mulls them right over. Oh, okay. Why the why the hell would zombies be pushing around shopping carts? That gets me. Yeah. <laughs> the, I think I think in their minds they they probably think they're still human. So I guess they were collecting out human meat. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how they're gonna cook it: barbecue, boil, <laughs> fry, <laughs> baked and deep fried. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have human fingers tonight, boys. <laughs> uh, all right, all right. Now let's discuss the handgun. The handgun is, pr uh, it's not really that strong. It's useful against zombies, but not. It's not good for crowd controls. I only save it for, for those emergency cases when I can't find a gun. Yeah, I only use it if I run out of the machine gun. Oh, by the way, it's a. Do not. Whatever you do, do not use it against uh, uh, Carlito in your first fight. Go, go for the submachine gun locations. That's yeah. That's all I gotta say. Uh, shotgun, shotgun. I thought was useful, but I, I don't find it. It's good for crowd control. Oh so yes. Some light. bosses, it's good for Carlito bosses. It's good for. Oh yeah. Cletus, Cletus. It takes too long and chain. And I don't know why Adam can still block bullets. From those, it hit, it doesn't hit in one area. It hits. I saw a bullet hit his leg, and he didn't stumble. What the hell? That's got me. What are your thoughts? Thoughts on sh shotgun? It's good for crowd controls. And, and at times it can be uh, good for the special force. Now the submachine gun. What are your thoughts on it? Very useful. You can shoot very fast, clear crowds very fast. And of course it's very useful against bosses. Yes. I actually find I actually find it to take use it to take him down faster than uh, uh than the shotgun. Oh yeah, and that brings me up to another machine gun, the heavy machine gun the, the convicts are using. It is very powerful. Like I got like in maybe five shots, Adam was already down to half health. I had about a hundred shots left. Um, Leah, uh, I've never used it, so I've got no opinion on it. It's very strong. Well, I'm only at level 32. Uh, I'm only in, like, an early 30s level. So, I have no opinion. I can't go after them. I'm also level 50. All right, so, all right, I guess the, the last one's going to be the rifle. The rifle can kind of be very useful if you want to do some headshots. I should, if, it, if you get it on headshots... It's worth it. It's all around good. My only gripe is that you can only hold 30 bullets. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and the gripe is that you have to zoom in and out. That's a pain in the ass sometimes. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot one more uh, weapon. The toy sword. Oh, God, that is useless. Other than it's good for your light. Yeah, at night time. Yeah. Other than that? That's it. Don't even keep, don't keep it during the day. No. All right, so I guess that's just good. we're not going to discuss the special weapons because, of course, those are instant kill on everything. Yeah, especially the Mega Man suit one. You do, uh, yeah. By the way, I haven't unlocked any secrets, and I'm just keeping the Mega so Man far. Suit on. I have the Mega just... Man boots, tights, and that's it. All right. Next up, I guess we're going to discuss is the survivors, where you have to save them. Yeah. What well, are your I thoughts went... on a couple? Nah, eh, they are used. Certain survivors can be useful. I, anybody who's listening to this, if it's your first time and you want to rescue survivors, don't give them handguns. Give them machine guns. Don't, don't give them chainsaws. Don't. Get, that's right. Don't even give them chainsaws. Here's what you need to do. You go over to them, and you give them either a submachine gun or a knife, or a shotgun. Don't give them a knife. Give them a shotgun or a submachine gun. I prefer submachine gun just because they can clear through. It's basically the same as a shotgun. Oh, and uh, they will have infinite ammo while they're yeah. equipped. It's very All useful. Right. But uh, but the and the pros is that they help you clear help you with cloud crowd controls. 
But that's pretty much where the pros end. Yeah, then the comes cons. cons. They, some of them are, are either stupid or retarded. The only ones I really, really help if they can't do anything is the ones that are limping or they're old. Yeah, and uh, some of them are are actually um, I actually have respect for others are really, really, really stupid. I remember this one time where uh, this one guy he ha- I gave him a baseball bat. He was surrounded by zombies. Why didn't he use it? I don't know. What the hell? Oh, uh, there was this one survivor that had a shotgun. And he shot me by accident. What did I do? I shot him back with my own shotgun. And I killed him. I blew his head, I blew his head and his arm off. <laughs> it was during the uh, Isabella escort. Oh, you mean the I Kindle? Yeah, I didn't know he was a survivor. I thought he was a zombie with a shotgun. No, he was so a survivor. I, I forgot yeah, to tell I you shot, that. I, sh- I shot him. Anyway, um... And I really you survivors, you if you're like, they're shooting a zombie and you get in the way, they will shoot you by mistake. Which I find is absolutely retired. retarded. I was giving him a good puck in the face afterwards. Another problem I kind of have with them is that some of them require you to either carry them... Or hold their hand the whole way. Yeah. Which is absolutely dumb. But it gets them through the crowds a lot quicker. The only time I can accept carrying them is when they're either... Limping? Their their feet is broken. They broke their foot. They can't... They can't walk. They They got hurt. Or they just are disabled. Yeah. And the but ones I have to off of the shoulders are the ones that are ill. Okay, why the f- why the frig can't some of the females use guns? Can somebody explain this to me? I know they're scared, but I mean, that's when you have to fight for your life. They're probably just scared to the point that they're scared shitless to do anything. I know I would, but I'd be grabbing the nearest shotgun and be starting to blowing some heads off. Regardless. Yeah. Like, there, there's no excuse for that. No. And it's really, it's really annoying how if they get stuck, everybody's at the door. You've got to backtrack all the way over there. And during that time, zombies are heading for your survivors. So then you got to go over there, and then you go back to save save your other survivor. Then you got to go back to your group of survivors. It gets annoying after a while. Yeah, especially I found this one glitch with I had. <laughs> you know that Jennifer girl where she's in that case thing. Yeah. I had no choice but to kill her. She was like. Phased right out. I couldn't. She wouldn't even move, so I had no choice but to kill her. Yeah, and that's another thing. Why is it that when you ever tell people to go somewhere or tell you to follow, they don't follow? Because at times they're fighting time. zombies. No, there's no zombies around. Oh. They won't move. Oh yeah, and it's re- oh yeah, it's also really stupid when they're trying to get through the hallway and they all get stuck. I kind of reminds me of school. Kind of reminds me of school in a way. Yeah, because school gets kind of... It kind of gets really iffy. Especially when they're a bunch of a-holes trying to push their way through to get in their class. And of course we have... And of course they try and commit mutiny. Yeah. Saying we need to go out and get food. We need to go out and do this. I'm going to... I'm going to use you all as a shield and I'm going to get the hell out of here. Yeah. Even, even though you will eventually die. Yeah. All right, so I guess that's it about the survivors. Yeah. Um. Okay. There's. What else do you want to talk about? I. I guess that's all I can think of talking about. Talked about Dead Rising. Um. Okay. I guess. How much time do we have left? I. Uh. Maybe two and a half hours. Two and a half minutes. Yeah. Two and a half minutes. Okay, well then, I guess let's give our closing thoughts. Closing thoughts. If you know somebody that has it, play it there. Or if you have a 360, rent it and then give your final verdict. Well, as from as for what I have to say, I would recommend this, but uh, just be aware that you have a 360. You gotta be careful, cause. Uh, 
Uh, just know this. If your 360 craps out, you can't play the Dead Rising version. Oh, and by the way, I still recommend buying the Dead Rising Wii version, which I think everyone, which everybody complains about, because it's not the 360, it's so much better. Oh, fuck you. The Wii version will still kick ass. Regardless, it has the Resident Evil 4 engine. It's just Cap Capcom trying to make money. Okay, I, I, one thing and I hope about best. that... Nintendo don't step in and tell them make it casual. You know what I'll say to Nintendo? They already are making the, the, the Terminator. They're, they're already making it casual. They even said. You know what? It's gonna, have, it's gonna be for casuals. Hold up. This is what I want to say about Nintendo right now. Fuck Nintendo. At least with Sega, we're gonna get a hardcore game. Yeah. I'm going back, back on Sega, Microsoft, Nintendo, and Cap. No, Microsoft. Ah, forget it. Uh, the only the only thing with Dead Rising Wii Edition is that we gotta stop. It's, 